Okay, moving on to our last step, step number four. And you might want to open up your book to that or open up your instructions here um, because a lot of the information will be getting from there. So, um, first of all, we need to put in cash um, from customers. So we'll be getting that from our book. Um, that's going to be our sales to customers. So, 697,018.61. Okay, then the next thing that we need to look at and, and what we paid with um, or what we did for cash payments, I guess. Right. Cash payment that we're going to put in there is our inventory purchases. And we are actually going to put these in parentheses. Um, well, I don't know if that will let us. Might not. Okay, so our inventory purchases, um, $309,481.36. Yeah, it doesn't let us load it. Okay, so we'll see what they do. Okay, next we'll put in our and wages, and that was $231,000. 648.69. I'm getting this information from the book. It's step number four. Next, we're going to put in rent of 18000 Next, I'm going to put in insurance of 16000 Next, I have my income taxes. And the income taxes are fourteen thousand forty-eight point one seven. And then next is going to be my other operating expenses, and that's going to be thirty-seven thousand one hundred four point seven four. Now, um. I guess one thing I need to make sure that I'm doing, these are my operating expenses. So remember, um, operating activities. So these are just based off of um, what we need to operate our business. Okay. All right, so our total cash payments then is we're, we're going to add all of those together. Okay, we should get a total of $626,282.96. Okay, so then to get our net cash provided um, by operating ex activities or used, we are going to take and we're going to subtract these two numbers. So we should get $70,735.65. Then next we're going to put in our cash flows from investing activities. So this is anything that deals with investments. So first we're going to have our sale of equipment. And that was $3,180. And then we're going to have our purchase of equipment. And that's going to be 24830 So these numbers um, we're actually going to subtract. Okay, so we're going to take 3180 minus 24830 Because here would be a positive number. We're selling our equipment. We're getting 3000 but here when we're purchasing, we're subtracting, okay? So this, I wonder if we, should be a negative 
21,650. Okay, so I wonder if we need to put, let's do this, because we want these to be in parentheses. So we, these should all be negative numbers. And then it will put it in parentheses. There we go. Okay, so um, so that's our net cash used by investing activities. Um, next, um, our last section is our cash flows from franchising, uh, franchise, financing activities, sorry. Um, so we're going to look at anything that deals with our financing. Um, we're going to have, let's see here, our issuance of stock. And that was $1,000. And then we're going to have our payment of cash dividends. And that was 16000 So we're losing money there. So put that negative in there. Okay, again, we're going to subtract these two. So this should be easy. This will be a negative 15000 And then we need to figure out our net change in cash. So we're going to take that positive $70,735.65. Then we lost $21,650. And then we also lost $15,000. So we're going to subtract those two. So we get $34,085.65. Our cash balance on January 1st. balance was $2,375.14. To get our cash balance then on December 31st, we're going to add those two numbers together. And we should get $36,460.79. So that is our cash balance on December 31st. Okay, so that was steps one through four. So um, let me check my answer first, just in case I screwed anything up. Um, we'll make sure that everything looks good before you check yours. Look good and oh shoot. Okay, looks like I didn't screw up anything on this one. So. Um, we are good. You can now go on to your 4-3 on your own.